Drinking Beer! Hey! Hey guys, Drinking Beer. Welcome to Drinking Beer. I'm uh, Drinking Beer with Steve. I'm Drinking Beer with John. And we're going to drink some beer. It's springtime, so we're going to get into, um, I don't know, local beers. Things that come, that, uh, you know, you get maybe once a season. And they come out around this time of year. Or just spring beers in general that we enjoy. Because yeah. that's kind of what we want to do. Well, we want to drink beer. but uh, So we've got a local spring beer right here. Yeah. I think it falls into that category. Yeah, so it, uh, us being from Ontario, uh, we're obviously no strangers to Bose Brewery, especially yeah. where we're from. Is it Bose Southway? Out uh, brewery out uh, in Vankley Kill. It's a close personal favorite of all of ours, I think, I think. And this one is called Beaver River. How Canadian. Yeah, well, that's, uh, we're also, we're pretty much hosers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> give her a pour. First things first, always give that thing a whiff, eh? The nose. And what are you getting off of that there? Citrus. When you point out the citrus note, yeah, usually you're going to get a little bit of that citrus note as far as like a, a hoppy beer goes. Seems like it's well balanced. You get a little bit of that kind of maltiness too. It's just it's color out here. More. It's orange. Yeah, orange, eh? That's a, that's a good word. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Let's give her a taste. The best part? Yeah, a lot of hops. You also blow, as that I find that it's still got a nice like kind of malty backbone to it. And that's a... Uh, that really, that really works with the beer, but I mean, yeah, so you get really a lot of bitterness, like that bitter hops taste. So, if you're not a fan of bitterness, unfortunately, IPAs aren't really your thing. But wow. uh, This stuff's so hoppy, I wonder how it stays in the glass. Oh, God. Are you serious? Did you say that? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay. If you haven't tried this yet, you better hop to it. <laughs> Next. Next one on the list, uh, great, uh, great beer from... Uh, Samuel Adams. South of the border. Classic, classic Boston lager. Boston. No. Home of, you know, the New England Patriots. I just want to drink this beer. And Beautiful. There you go. Cheers. Her, cheers. Oh, hey. Clean. Really clean tasting. Very right? like, clean not a lasting finish. It, no, uh, but I mean, yeah. just really nice, easy going beer, well made. Um, still got like, a little bit of a hoppy finish to it, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Like kind of like a, a Vienna style lager. Would this be good cold? Like really cold? Like some people like to fill the cooler with ice, you know? And like, hey, you can uh, drink it cold, you can drink it, I mean, <laughs> no right or wrong way. I said, if you want to like fully appreciate a beer, generally it's kind of around that cellar temperature the cellar so. temperature brings out the flavors it brings out the flavors in the cold beer cold cold will kind of will mute, mute it a little bit yeah, you know? interesting that's generally how it works something to consider yeah. so, so you drink your beer too cold it might uh, you might not get the full effect from it mm -hmm. but also some beers you probably should just drink ice cold so <laughs> let's face it sometimes you just drink beer to get drunk and that's that's perfectly okay Mm -hmm. We won't judge you. That would be pretty hypocritical of me. <laughs> I think I'm going to have a little bit more. You should. <laughs> I think I should. Yeah, you should have some more. Moving on, we've got Innocent Gun. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Innocent Gun. This is one of... Uh, I think it's a new product. Well, it is a new product. We haven't had this... Uh, it's a Toasted Oak it's the, IPA. Yeah, that's what it says. It's actually... I've, I've had it before. It's, it's quite nice. Um, let's hope it's still uh, still good. Now, the whole thing uh, with Innocent Gun, I've noticed they got a theme where they have different beers that are aged in different types of barrels. And that's that's it. That's generally kind of the thing. They uh, generally will age them in old spirit barrels, uh, whether it be whiskey, sherry, rum. Sherry's not really a spirit, but you know what I mean. What kind of barrel is this aged in, exactly? Uh, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm not uh, entirely sure. Uh I know. Oh. Weird, right? But you knew everything about uh, I don't know everything right about here. beer. I don't know. <laughs> you, you said you would just give me some beer if I, as long as I could talk about it. Oh, this is true. Yeah. He's got a great talking yeah, voice. That's there. true. Uh, anyways, uh, toasted oak, I'm assuming, because they probably char the inside of the barrel. I bet you uh, so oak. Yes, yeah, so it's probably going to impart some oaky flavor. Um, so yeah, the toasted oak uh, IPA. I imagine the reason it gets its name from it is because they would they will char the inside of the barrels, which is called toasting. They'll toast. Mm -hmm. That's the inside of the barrel, and that will impart some certain like strong like oaky characteristics. So let's give her a whiff. All right. So what do you get off of that? Not a lot of aroma on this one at all. Actually, no, it's it's a little uh, it's a little muted, but muted. Oh, but but you still get a little bit of that kind of like that 
the hop aroma too. Yeah, yeah, a little. But bit I'm getting of a little bit of the, uh, a little bit of an oakiness to it as well. Not, uh, not overly so. Not as uh, aromatic as the not Samuel as a, Adams and yeah. the, uh, the Beaver Creek. Well, I'd say the Beaver Creek was probably the most aromatic out of what we, what we tried today. But this is, uh, well, I mean, the only other way to, to figure these things out is to taste it. It's hoppier than a jackrabbit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hoppier than a jackrabbit. Let's give her a taste. <sighs> oh, hey. That one just like, it, it just, it comes and goes really quick. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, they still got a really strong like oak and like like a toasted caramel type. I was gonna say there's like a bit of a candy caramel yeah. aftertaste, but kind of smoky sure. and toasty. The smoky and toasty. Um, toasty. Yeah, but yeah, really get that kind of like that toffee, that burnt sugar type of taste to it. That's really quite nice. Mm. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a good one. Toasted oak IPA. Well, a toast to toasted oak. To IPAs. toasted oak. Okay, there you go. All right, well, I guess that about wraps it up for uh, this episode of Drinking Beer. It was a good episode. We tried some great beers, uh, pretty much like all of them. I think there are you know, things that I've had before, but they're also still just very good. I'm trying to so. think of another hop joke, but hop. Oh, you'll, you'll hop to it eventually. Oh.